you and I, we work together in, in various aspects of technology um, across sort of Canar, uh, all of that together. And, you know, from, from your background, you've obviously won, you know, Toy of the Year in France for ed tech, uh, for voice tech experiences. Uh, you won the CES Innovation Award for Data Over Sound and Connected Home. Uh, you guys won the CineQuest Film Festival Award for Dino Mundi, which, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was like the first physical digital AR toy experience. Um, and then, uh, and so it's like, now we're talking about the metaverse. Now we're talking about the future of work. So, so tell us about head office and what sort of brought all of these different worlds together. Before, they were the building blocks for the metaverse. So we learned early on about uh, voice commands, about data over sound, about how people interacted in virtual worlds. And when we brought augmented reality with Dino Mundi in over 30 countries, it was one of the first experiences with the Generation Z uh, with augmented reality. And, and that showed us how people dreamed about uh, augmented reality and how they could incorporate that in, into their lives. And we were always, you know, preparing for the metaverse and thinking, when is the metaverse really going to happen? And especially when will people be ready for it? Because one thing, that, like the, the believe the metaverse already exists for over almost 20 years, and uh, Philip is here to tell us a little bit, but it works. And people have been interacting in these spaces for near 20 years. And then when we realized that actually people in games, groups, teams, using games to collaborate, they were interacting and collaborating better than uh, using regular work tools. Okay, and then uh, this way, when we bring uh, work tools into uh, a game environment, we're always missing something. You know, people are talking about gamifying uh, work tools and, and several of our management systems, gamifying them so that they can be easier to understand and, and, and more engaging. But when we think that, you know, you can gamify until a certain point, because those tools, they were not built for this kind of collaboration and this kind of, of interaction. So instead of working game tools, we decided to gamify work tools. So with head office, we realized that if we built an environment using a very uh, strong uh, uh, virtual engine, that we could all be in the same environment together. And then translating all of these management tools, all of the processes that companies need to have and teams need to have to be productive, uh, we could be, uh, uh, we could change how people work. And this is a little bit of what we do, we did here. And I'm going to take you around so that you can experience a little bit. ClearSale. ClearSale is a global uh, cybersecurity company with over 3,500 employees, and they, uh, they were our first uh, 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 customer to try because we wanted to start our development safe. We wanted to, be, to build an environment that we would feel safe to share our information, safe to, to, to talk about confidential uh, uh, details, projects that had not been launched. So ClearSale was perfect for that because they you know, they helped us to look from the beginning how to make this environment safe. And they grew very fast during the pandemic. They went from a little over 1,000 employees to uh, over 3,500 employees. They went public. So many things happened during the pandemic. And we wanted to make sure that their culture doesn't get lost in the process. Because when you go from 1,000 employees having a uh, a building tower to, to talk to everybody and have host everybody. And then you go to a completely virtual environment. You, you know, it can, the culture can get lost, especially that the company almost tripled in size. 
So with head office, we thought, okay, how do we bring, how do we keep the culture alive, the culture that they built for so many years, and how do we get people to experience the culture and become uh, more, uh, uh, become a part of the organization? They develop the, feel, the sense of belonging. So this is the first campus built inside head office space. Uh, you can come in and build your own campus, your office. You can build an office and resell. We have a whole maker's economy here. So this is one campus built for clear sale. And you see uh, on my right here, I have a, 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 one of our training rooms type. And the interesting thing is that we are not worried about bringing what we experience, you know, nostalgic office styles into the metaverse, because they don't make sense in a world where we don't have any restriction in terms of, uh, like it's all pixel. So bringing uh, buildings that we use, the way that we used to collaborate before, they don't make much sense in the metaverse space, so we redesigned rooms thinking about collaboration from the beginning. So for example, in this room, we have here uh, on, the, on the back side, we have a presentation space. You can put any presentation, but it's very easy to jump in and out of a session, in the, in, of a, of a break, breakout session. So you can have as many breakout sessions you want. You can just come here, you start a breakout session, then you go to the next, so if you are, the, the leader here, you can easily go into every breakout session room and know what's going on, and then come back to the main room. And you see, we don't have walls. We didn't need to, to worry about the constraints of a, of a regular environment where you have sound and other barriers that you cannot just go in and out of a room stepping in a line. Uh, also, we have rooms, for example, that people can be together. So we're going to meet now, let me see where Pedro. So this is uh, the the founder of Clear Sale, Pedro. He is a, an Olympic athlete. So he want, he likes to to get his team and they exercise together. So we created this gym where they can come in and practice and, and, and interact as a group. Then uh, we also have spaces that you can come in and, and draw and, and inter draw together. Uh, it works with all of the web tools. So you can open your Excel, your slide, your, you know, you can do draw together with your team, go over a presentation. Uh, now, uh, everybody here, they have their own squad. So when you press phone, it takes you to your own office squad where your team is. So my team is all here today. You can see Val here, you can see, so, oh, Pedro is looking at, you see I'm broadcasting to them our talk, so they are here. And a very interesting thing, here I had office, we have several ways of communicating. So I can press T and open spatial sound, and I can talk to anybody here using spatial. But the one thing- There was really interesting in terms of there's these references, right? You have a holographic work table. Um, you guys have a way of, we can work in Google Slides, we can work in Microsoft, we can work in whatever tools we have to sort of connect in the environment. And I think that's what's really cool about it is um, you don't have sort of the, the, the stale Formica tables. Um, you still have something sort of creative and, and inspiring, but um, with the ability to kind of work with those everyday tools. Yes. Those, Mm -hmm. And especially, we can we have all of the communication tools you need inside. So, for example, we are the first metaverse to have a full operating video conferencing system. So you can build uh, video conferencing rooms. Your video appears. You just need to press V, and your video appears on top of you. So it makes it easier. Uh, you know, we like to see human emotions. So you can switch. Uh, you can just be with your avatar, or you can press V and have your video on top. Then you can also interact with all of the screens around you. So you can work on an Excel file together, you can do a presentation, work on a presentation together. So actually get work done 
And it's not only focused on presenting, but uh, collaborating. Can kind of jump into the environment, communicate and collaborate in those those documents, um, or whatever it is they're they're creating. Um, we're all. I know we have the technical hiccup. We are getting close to time. Um, I wasn't sure if if uh, you and Pedro wanted to to share anything. Um, if Pedro wanted to say anything before we. Well, unfortunately, Pedro yeah. is inside the metaverse, so like I don't know if. You know, I know it's an. Ex this is the first time, as you mentioned, you guys have been really sort of quiet uh, in terms of. <laughs> <laughs> you in terms of like you know we've sort of heard rumblings that you're you know you're working on a beta with a cybersecurity company um you know that security is really important um and in the foundation of what you're doing so it's really exciting that that you guys as well as uh pedro are are here today and sort of you know openly talking about your partnership that's fantastic Marco, you and the team have been great to team up on that, and we look forward to many more. We are getting ready to welcome everybody to, to, to experience head office. Meanwhile, we suggest you come into our website, sign up for the early beta. There's so many different ways that you'll be able to interact and build your space, bring your team, build your project and uh, revolutionize the way you work. So join our join our waiting list and uh, I'll see you in space. <laughs>